Hello folks, welcome back. In our last tutorial, we have seen how we can create our own Salesforce developers account. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create our first Visual Force page. So before creating our first Visual Force page, we need to enable the development mode. Because we cannot create a Visual Force page if your development mode is not enabled. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go under your name, the title, the username and go to my settings. Once you click on the my settings, this is the page that pops up, which will have <clears throat> personal display and layout, email, etc. So you go under the personal and you click on the advanced user details over here. Once you do that, you will see there is a development mode. Scroll down and you'll see a development mode checkbox. So this is the checkbox that you need to click, the development mode checkbox. Now here I can go ahead and click on edit and you click on this development mode checkbox and once you're done go ahead and save this so now i have enabled my visual force page so you know how you can create your first page so let's say you can directly do it you copy this the your instance slash apex and slash hello world page so now once you do that, this is one of the method that you can create a page. Now once you once the developer mode is enabled, you will see something like this. Create page, hello world page. Now you'll be able to create this. And here you will see, you can also edit it. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and say, hello world, h1. So these are the tags, Apex page, these are the tags. And H1 is a tag from an HTML. So it's an HTML tag. So as I told you, in a Visual Force, you can embed the HTML tags inside your Visual Force page. So now you can see that this automatically, the output has been changed. So this is the way you can create it. You can always write slash Apex and the page name. If it's not there, it will also give you an option to create one. Now you can also create a Visual Force page by going up to the setup. You go to the setup and you look for Visual Force and it will go to the Visual Force pages. Now here you can create a new Visual Force by clicking on this. You provide the name of the Visual Force page, the label, etc. So there are two of the ways that you can create a Visual Force page. Whichever you wanted to follow, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong in any of the ways. Whichever you're comfortable with, you can start creating your Visual Force page. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next tutorial.